Hello and welcome to episode 3 of How to Contract in Kerbal Space Program version 0.24. My name is Jim and before we get started today let's do a couple of quick things. First let's go to the uh, base here and grab some extra Kerbals just because and so we have some extra names to uh, look at and play with uh, Dory, Edlu, Kemfall, Gregden, Edbart, Barkot, Dobro came from the rescue mission, Charlie Kerman, Jorley Kerman so that's a uh, full roster of crew and then let's go to the science or the R&D center because we did get some science at the end of the last episode so we have enough 80 to unlock the last of this tier. Uh, like I said, I'm counting one, two, three, four, so the fourth tier. Others may count this as zero, one, two, three, so keep that in mind when you um, see other people talking about tech tiers. But anyway, so that finishes that off. That's a, a winglet, a, a cockpit, a probe part, which is gonna come in handy, and a reaction wheel. Next up, we want to look at the Mission Control Building, and let's pick some more missions. Okay, science data from Space Round Kerbin. Uh, that's pretty easy, so we can get that when we go up in orbit. Uh, test hydraulic, detach a manifold, land of the Kerbin. Let's go ahead and put that aside for a second. LV-909 liquid engine in flight over Kerbin. Uh, test parachutes and flight. So we're going to skip these in-flight ones. Like I said, the parameters for those are somewhat difficult to achieve and they don't really pay off that well. So avo I'd, I'd recommend avoiding those until you want to do them as a challenge. Uh, same with this one. Mm -hmm. Rescue Dunsey Kerman from Kerbin. So he's in orbit. We have a rescue ship ready. So that's something that will pop up from now and then, so that's always a good option for gaining more funds. So you get 12,000 advance, 50,000 for completing, another 6,200 for putting them aboard a vessel. But we'll keep that in our pocket as uh, it expires in one day, so we may not get it, get around to it, but we'll see. Test Rokamax 487S orbiting Kerbin. Uh, I can't quite remember which one that is. And you're going to maybe be coming at this not knowing what any of these mean. Uh, so that's, you can always go back to the station, or back to the VAB, and just take a look. Uh, actually, it won't show you some of the test parts. Um, but that's the LV-909, so that's just the, kind of the weak version of these. Um, Mark 55 radial, that's the BACC, and so on. So you can kind of take a look over here and see what's available and what, um, you know, they'll be asking. But other times you have to accept the mission if it's a test part that's not unlocked yet, and then you'll see what it is. But if you do that, then you're kind of obligated to test it. So let's go back one more time. What we want to do today is a couple of orbital missions and we'll see how to build a ship that will specialize in accomplishing that mission. Explore the moon. That's probably going to be the next episode. Uh, you'll be able to get a lot of science, not only from the contract, but also from actually exploring and a pretty good payout for completing all of the uh, objectives. Anyway, well, let's look at this. So test Rokamax 487S orbiting curve, and let's go ahead and accept that. Um, in fact, let's assume that you're really not sure you know, what some of these are. So let's go ahead and accept everything that's in orbit right now. Um, rescue, we could bundle that in with one of the other missions, but we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll kind of keep that in our pocket as something we can do for funds if we, if we need them later. 
test rook solid fuel boost orbiting carbon that's a mildly difficult one let's go ahead and take it uh test rook max brand a couple are on a suborbital trajectory uh suborbitals are sometimes good because you can test those on the way up or just before you get into orbit so let's go ahead and take that one as well okay what else do we have landed no uh science data from let's go ahead and take that one because we can do that as part of any mission just by doing a crew report even if and this is important even if the science has already been used up around Kerbin the fact that we can do this mission and get extra funds just for doing a simple crew report in orbit even though we bring back no science is a great bonus all right so flight no flight no flight no rescue explore the moon Poodle engine orbiting, yes. Uh, skipper in flight, no. And test small gear bay orbiting Kerbin, yes. And uh, take a look, this one, 41 science, 48,000 funds, and a nice 7,500 7, advance. All right, so let's accept that. Now let's go to the VAB. And take a look at some of these. So let's let's kind of let's put this out just so we can pull all the other parts out as we take a look at them. Rokamax Brown decoupler. Okay, so that's under structural. Uh, that is this. That's a huge. See, I didn't even realize that. I thought this was one of these guys, but. No, this this huge one here. So that's that's a challenge with the parts we have now. All right, test uh, BACC solid fuel booster. So that's one of these guys. Uh, 487S. This is one I didn't even know what it is. What is it? Okay, it's this little guy. So this is just a little tiny engine. So I have to test that. That's going to be easy to bring up. Very light. Uh, solid fuel booster. Uh, decoupler and suborbital trajectory. Yeah, solid. And then finally a poodle engine. Oh, and small gear bay. So we need a poodle engine, which is this one uh, in blue. And this is the big, the smallest of the bigger engines. And finally a small gear bay, which would be under utility, I believe. Yes, right here. All right, so these are the different th kinds of things we can test. And a couple of these are pretty hefty things to get into orbit. So our standard ship is probably not going to do, do the job. But let's see, what can we do? We kind of want... Some of this is a separate deal. So let's pretend this is what's going to get us into space. Actually, let's... Yeah, so this... We're going to build a ship that's going to get us into space and then try to lift these things on top of it. Well, that has to be... Nah, it's a puzzler. No, this is going to take two missions. Let's do an easy and a difficult. And we have to split these up into a couple of different missions if, if that's how the cookie crumbles. Alright, so first these two guys are easy. What's the reward for them? 
Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you the reward here. You'd have to go back into the uh, uh, mission control building to. Uh, but these are easy. So let's. Our standard orbital ship will work for this, which is just. That, a parachute to bring our Kerbal home, a small fuel tank, and one of these, another one of these, a bigger tank, actually let's do a tank and a half. Plus this. Okay, that's our center stage. And let's call this um, Okay, O three. Cancel that. Zero zero three orbit test one. And then once we figure out what we're gonna test, we could we could we could put the names of the items that we're testing in there. But let's see, that will get us there. And then I'm gonna show you guys something else. Let's get our decouplers here. Let's do this. Actually, let me check the music volume here. Oh, no, I can't do that. The music's a little loud. I'll have to adjust that. All right, so let's go ahead and put four, did I three? Uh, let's do four. And let's get angle snapping on. All right, and we're going to go ahead and bring, go ahead and use these as our first stage. I got them aligned right? No, I do not. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and use them as our first stage, but because of that, they're super strong. We don't need nearly that much thrust, so I'm going to go all the way down to 35, or 36. That's more than enough, because that will give a longer burn with those guys. And then we need a little bit of strategy to uh, stabilize all that. Alright, so that will get us in orbit. Now to test this guy. We need... Yeah, it's kind of weird looking, but let's put one of those on there. Let's put the smallest tank we have off the end of that. Oh, that's kind of acting weird. No, oh, because it's doing four times symmetry, that's why. I just need two. There we go. Then we'll just put this right at the bottom there. And all I have to do is stage these and that, I don't even know if we have to burn it, but we can just burn it for a second. And then when we come down we're going to detach from all this anyway, so that's fine. Alright, so that will get that test out of the way. Then for these landing gear, Again, like when you touch something with four times symmetry, it'll automatically switch here. 
So if you touch it to something 2, you'll get 2, or you'll have to do X or Shift X to increase or decrease symmetry. So keep that in mind when trying to build things. It can get a little frustrating if you're not aware of how that works. So let's, but we want to keep things even, so I'll put 2 on there. And so what we do, let's see, where's that one? So we can do the crew port there. Uh, where did this come from? We can do... that's the little engine there, so that'll be tested. So basically you just get your basic orbital ship and just start attaching things to it. Um, we're not testing the big this yet. And not testing the poodle, which is down there. We are testing the gear bay and the engine there, and we're getting a crew report for science. Okay, so that's three contracts with this ship. So let's go ahead and save it. Let's get a crew member in there, Jebediah out. Let's go ahead with Barkot and let's take this guy up into space. Alright, SAS on. Throttle doesn't matter. Oh, I do need to make sure this all is going to go the way it's supposed to. Uh, that do that separately this engine okay those two engines get their own stage because we're just testing them in space those four then that one then the middle one test ones and then coming back. Okay, so that's all sorted. I should have done that in the VAB because now this won't be saved. Alright, uh, I sh possibly should have put winglets on these because this might get out of control, but we'll see. Three, two, one, lift off. And 36% is not enough. Uh, we'll see. As we burn fuel, it'll get faster and faster. I should have done 40%, or maybe even 50. Yeah, let's go back to vehicle assembly. We're not playing Iron Man mode, so we can do whatever we need to do to make these missions successful. First of all, let's fix this. That's there. There's another stage just for those two test engines. We want this going off with that decoupler, this going off with this decoupler, and we want some winglets so we get some control with these solid rocket boosters because they have no gimbling. And we want to increase the thrust to, let's go ahead and go up to 45. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, save this. Jebediah jumps in again whenever you change anything on the ship. Barkat, come on out. And launch. All right, this time we're ready from the get-go. Let's get resources up, because everything else we're doing in orbit, so we know we have to get there. All right, SES on. We do want throttle at full, so that when we stage these, we're already our next engine is already going. But this throttle has nothing to do with these engines again. Three, two, one, lift off. <laughs> All right, that's a little better. And we'll accelerate more as we burn off the fuel and this lightens up, because this is most of our weight, I believe, right now. And 
Barkot looks happy to be going in the space. Uh, let's see, any other topics I want to cover? Um, one of the things we'll be talking about later, but not right now, about cost, is these solid rocket boosters are pretty cheap compared to the liquid uh, tanks and engines. So if you want a sustainable uh, space program, uh, using solid rocket boosters as early stages really does pay off. Uh, I didn't look at how much this costs, so we'll, we'll take a look at that when we get back into uh, the VAB. We'll load it up and actually in the loading screen I'll tell you how much it costs. Uh, let's see, funds, 286. Uh, we've got some from advances, minus what we paid for the rocket. Okay, we're at 10,000. We'll go ahead and let these, that's actually perfect. We'll go ahead and let these burn the rest of the way. St stage, and they bumped our ship. So, that's no good. All right, so it costs 17,400. We need one more thing on this. I did not, I usually don't use, and usually isn't necessary, but looks like it is this time. We need these separatrons. And let's see which way, okay, they burn. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, and four times symmetry. burning away from the ship and we need to put those in the correct staging all right so one more time let's save that so 17,600 so that cost 200 more to put those on get Barcott back in and this is the kind of iteration that you'll probably have to do. You know, it's like Kerbal Space Program is about failing and then learning from your mistakes. So I learned that this ship needs separatrons to get these boosters away from it. So let's launch again. SAS on, let's th throttle the full. That's not even waste much time here. Three, two, one, lift off. Nope, I moved the wrong... <laughs> the symbols look exactly the same, so I moved the wrong one into the next stage. That's kind of funny. You can tell what they are by... they'll highlight when you... there we go. That's the boosters. Those are the Separatrons. Alright, Jebediah. Oh, Barkat actually is still in there. I guess because I didn't change anything on the ship itself. He stayed in there. But let's save it so we get this correct. We use it again. Alright, throttle full, SAS on. 3, 2, 1. Lift off. Uh, they broke my struts, but I don't think we'll really need them, so fingers crossed. But all this kind of demonstrates that, you know, yes, you can definitely make mistakes, and you should worry, make It doesn't matter. But in the VAB you can set these to be raised or lowered when you launch. Yep, 
Arcot still happy to be up there despite all the errors from earlier. Alright, we are just about ready to stage. I'm mildly worried that this engine won't be able to push all this very well. So we'll see. That may be a, yet another mistake we'll have to correct. Alright, getting ready to stage. Okay, we are slowing down, but that's picking up again. So let's let this settle down before we make our turn. If you're kind of weak in the, uh, the engine's kind of weak at this stage, go ahead and go up to about 15,000 before making the gravity turn. We'll do this halfway here. And I just touch the F key to kind of recenter it at the new location instead of having it try to fight back to where I came from. And let's take a look at our orbital view. Pull. Now ballups will be ready when we come out here. 30,000. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Let's turn it over the rest of the way now. Tap that F key, which uh, toggles the SAS on. If it was off, it would toggle it on while you're holding it. If it's on, it'll toggle it off. Typically assuming a little bit of knowledge of KSP with this tutorial series, but I'll try to point out things that to me seem obvious. Or that I just don't even think about anymore. Let's get up to about 75. We just want to establish our orbit first. And then we can adjust it to meet the criteria for the uh, different contracts. And we still have a little bit of fuel left in this stage. That's pretty nice. So the rest of this stage can do the work of getting us in orbit. And if necessary, we could even use these engines or the fuel from the, those tanks. Alright, where are we? Alright, again, I think we're going to be fairly weak, so let's go ahead and start burning pretty early. Okay, we're in space. This stage is going to run out pretty quickly. And then we have this final stage. Yeah, let's keep it burning, but point downwards just a little bit when you're ahead. That will keep this from rising too fast. You kind of um, want to kind of play with this. As you approach it, you kind of go up towards the sky as you get, you know, there we go. It flips, so we're 80,000 and 76,000. Okay, we are in orbit. So first thing... Look, let's look through our missions, science, science data. Let's go ahead and get a crew report. And like I said, even though this is zero, this counts for achieving the contract. All right, now let's see what our other kind. Let's hold this up. Okay, we're not at the right altitude for any of these yet. Gear bay. Okay, so we need 88,000 for the gear bay. We're not doing that one. We are doing that one. We need 91,000 for that. Up to 94,000. So let's bring our Apple apps up to 92,000. 
and we can run both of those tests at that altitude. And you can either do this with a maneuver node, but this is so touchy that I'm just going to go ahead and forget the maneuver node and get on prograde and then just very lightly burn 24 seconds away. We'll wait till we're a little closer. I, I, one of the things I want to encourage you is to not be a slave to maneuver node. I'll show you when to use it and when not to. But in this case, we will actually want to, okay, I clicked on it so it stays up and just a slight burn, 93. Okay, that will be sufficient to test the gear bay. It's below 94,000. And to test our little engine here, 91 to 98. So yes, that'll be perfect for testing both of these items. So let's go ahead and go around to there. Fortunately, that is on the night side. We'll watch the altitude up here so we get a little more scenic view. And I'm kind of going between 50 and 10 warp speed just so I don't miss this. Because we're above 91, we'll do... Let's see, gear bay has to be, yeah. Above 91 will do for both of them, so we can do it as soon as we hit 91,000 meters. Alright, so let's slow down. Alright, first test with the gear bay, you just right click, run test, and we have achieved that mission. We can see our funds have already gone up substantially just from that, and then we've also gotten some science. Alright, now we can test the engine. So I'm going to test it throttle down. All it takes is staging, I believe. Let's see, where is it? Note. Through the staging sequence. So I don't think we necessarily have to run the engine, but let's find out. So staging now. Okay, we have achieved the test. I don't I want to say I don't think it will count if it's not attached to fuel. It doesn't have to burn, it does have to be attached to fuel. Uh, I'll... Hmm... We have to test that, but that's... Because I think I tried testing an engine without fuel and it failed. But it never hurts to have it. Anyway, so that is all three of the missions contracts that we have gone up here. Uh, we just have to recover our science when we land. So let's get to retrograde. And we can use all three of these engines to uh, burn to land again. Let's get in map view. Let's go around and get land on the, the day side. And we'll even try to get fairly close to uh, get a little more money. Oh, even though we're discarding most of the parts so it's not a huge factor right now that's for a much later episode talking about recovery of your funds through a uh, landing near uh, Kerbal Space Center alright let's bring it down We'll try overshooting about a little past these islands and then see where that gets us in relationship to KSC. It th well, we're not concerned about closeness, it never hurts to practice. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and stage, since we already have our intersect with the planet. And I'll see you guys down on the ground, so we don't have to go through this long landing process again.
Be right back. All right, I am back and we are just about to splash down. We came well short of where I thought we'd be. We barely, didn't even make the, the continent of KSC, but that's okay. Now, like I said, we aren't really saving many of the parts yet anyway. But Barkat is down. We can recover the vessel. Uh, yeah, we've already done splash down science so all right so crew report even though that was zero that did accomplish our third mission so let's take a look at these we can treat completed you know let's see in parts we got a little bit of funds back for the capsule and parachute and stuff so now we're up to four hundred eleven thousand. let's see how we got that money and we have Barca Kerman back Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's look at our contracts. We got 31,000 for completing the science science one. We got 43,000 for testing the small rocket engine and 34 science for it. So that would be handy. And we got 48,000 for testing the small gear bay. So 150,000 essentially and 41 science so those were very lucrative contracts to complete so let's take a look in our science R&D center 112 so we can actually unlock something now and we can get some of these big rocket parts which actually might help us with some of the missions we want to do the fuel lines and there's the little engine Uh, there's the big decoupler, airplane parts. Um, like I said, we're not really going to do a lot with uh, aircraft in this. Uh, some other parts really don't need right now. Uh, solar panels, that's going to come in handy later. But we're going to save that for just a little bit more. And then thermometer don't need these just yet and then there's the landing gear and the uh, micro landing strut I think let's go ahead and go for these bigger engines and tanks because we have some pretty hefty things to try to get into orbit so 90 science there uh, let's head back to mission control just to see what new contracts have come up Although we have some active already, and like I said, we kind of want to clear these before uh, grabbing more of these. So active, uh, but let's take a look. Uh, in flight, in flight, in flight, still have rescue. Oh, that's, uh, we still have another day to do that. If we can do this next orbital mission, we might still be able to grab this. Uh, mainsail or suborbital, spore moon, taste jet engine and flight over Kerbin. That could be interesting, but not something we're escape the tra trajectory. No, we don't want to worry about that now. In flight over Kerbin, no, none of these really appeal to me right now, anyway. So, what we need to do now is try to test. Okay, so let's call this 04, Orbit Test 2. And actually, let's go back, because I want to test, look at one more thing. And that is, what are the specific rewards for these? So the solid rocket booster will give us 43,000 plus the 9,000, well, the already, we already have the advance in the hand. So 43,008 science, so not a big deal. The big decoupler, 36,034 science, 36,000 funds th and 34 science, so that would be helpful. And the pool engine, 41 science, 78,000. So that's definitely our priority. 
is testing the poodle engine over the other two. So let's go in here. Let's grab a poodle. Uh, mass, two tons. That compares to, say, this tank here, which is half a ton. 0.5625 tons. So this is equivalent of four of these. So we all kind of already know that adding this to our mass isn't going to be too much of a problem. And how much is that big decoupler? Well, that's on the way up to orbit, so that's probably its own test. So we're spending 16,000 to get like 40,000 and about 40 science. Because, yeah, I don't really see a way with this in, uh, rocket of testing all three of those at once. So I'm going to design ships. I'm going to use this basic design for each of those. Oh, we don't need this landing gear anymore. Get rid of that. So let's take off this parachute. Let's grab these radial parachutes. Two times symmetry. Put them on the sides. Let's grab a decoupler. Stick that on top. And then... To test this, we need to just remember, we just need to stage it. But I th like I said, I think we need fuel. So I'm going to stick one of those on top. Then I'm going to take this and just flip it around and stick that on the nose. So we have to get up to 83,000 meters. I think we can do that with the ship we have out of problem. So that's our next mission. Save that. Alright, so that's that one. Now let's see if what we can do for testing the uh, mission after that. Well, one of the things we can do is is the big Rockamax de decoupler suborbital trajectory at 79,000 meters. So on our way up, if we extend our apoaps to uh, say 81,000 meters, on our way up we can stage it and get this accomplished. All we need to do for that is to... Actually, this is not complete. This needs to turn around. See those little red arrows? Let me zoom in. See those little red arrows? That's the side that gets detached. So we want to detach from the capsule when this is all done. Alright, so that's, that's a good lesson learned. Okay, so this ship is done. For the next ship, let's Save it under a new name, 05, Orbital Test 3. And again, if you want to kind of keep track, you can put the name of the part you're testing there. So instead of this arrangement, all I need to do is take all this off, grab our big old decoupler, spin this around. How much is this weigh? This, I think, oh, only 0.4 tons, so it's actually less than that fuel tank. So and then we just need to put something on the other side, I believe. Um, this I do know. I tried to test decouplers in space once uh, that did not have something attached to them, and that did fail. So I, that's why I think that you need fuel for engines 
and something on the other side of the, of the decoupler. Uh, one of the things I didn't fix was the staging for number four. Now this also let's fix that so the struts are attached again. Alright, so that will test this device and get quite a bit of money. Save that and let's yeah, let's actually get our staging proper. This is just a separate stage test before we even get into uh, or after we get into orbit. We do th conduct the test, burn to go back to Kerbin, detach everything else, and then deploy the parachutes. And those are, yes, correct everything. Okay, so that is that ship. Let me go ahead and fix number four. while I'm thinking about it, while you guys are here. Again, so that's our boosters. This engine does definitely does not go off there. I'm going to stage it up here. And then this decoupler, which is this one, will attach it afterwards. And then this decoupler will detach our capsule from everything else and then deploy our parachutes. So boosters, second rocket, get rid of the boosters, separatrons too. And then we gotta fix these separatrons. So they do not interfere with the struts. And then the next stage Somewhere is this one. Yeah, then that burns that stage. This is simply a test stage. The engine does not have to be on when we burn it. And that will take care of that one. And finally, we need to test the booster in orbit. 82,000 to 9,300. How much does this weigh? This weighs 7.8 tons. This is an issue. Uh, this ship cannot carry this into orbit. So we actually need to, bur to build a separate ship. We have the bigger rocket parts now, so we can actually do that. So let's start from scratch. This is number six. Orbit test number three, four, number four. All right, so let's let's go ahead and start from scratch, basically. This part the question is how to test this. Oh I know. Would that work? If it doesn't even fire? That is a good question. I, I believe it would. So let's turn this over, attach it to the, gonna grab it from down here, attach it to the top. Yeah, that's a very good question. I think I think it will count. But we need to to get this into the air. We need a little bit more oomph than we've been using. So let's go ahead and go with. Oh, we still need to decouple. Stick one of these here. 
We have a skipper. Skippers are good. Pretty powerful engines. In fact, let's... I don't think we need that big of an engine yet, or a tank yet. So let's do that. Skipper there. One of the kind of cheats you can do is you can use parts, experimental parts, on other builds. If you accept the contract. Uh, what happens though is you, if the contract is completed and you haven't unlocked this part, you can't build with it again. You can load in this ship as is, but you can't do anything with it really. Uh, I'm not sure about the details of that little cheat, but that is something you can do is uh, build other ships with these experimental parts and use them uh, while that contract is open. And even when the contract closes, saved ships will keep those parts. Alright, they may close that exploit in future versions, so keep that in mind. Okay, another skipper here. And then we need to boost this into orbit. We do not have fuel lines, so that's one thing I wanted to keep to check. So we'll just use a simple uh, booster arrangement. So let's do six. And we have these really long boosters now. So let's go ahead and use them. So we've only spent 23,000 on this ship so far. And we're going to get something like 40,000 back. I just need to try to get this. There we go. I get that straight. Yes, I did. So that'll be a nice long burn. Um, let's do about 65. 67. Thereabouts. Now we give a nice long burn. Then we definitely need struts. And I think this will do it. So save, and let's double check our staging. So just those boosters, those kick off, fire the first skipper, uh, that goes away, fires the second skipper, and then we test our booster and then get rid of it that's yes that's the upper one and then fly back detach our capsule and then deploy the parachutes so that should be for that contract all right this episode has gone on way too long um, I wanted to build all these ships to show you that how, you know, you have to kind of like tailor make your ships for each of these contracts. Um, these big parts uh, lifting in the orbit, uh, when you get the bigger parts, uh, bigger engines and everything, you can have multiple at a time. But I figured, well, let's just do one at a time. This costs 34000 and we'll get us, let's see how much you get to save it. Exit. This was the cheapest of the three contracts. 
and it will net us 43,000. So we're still making money. And we're getting a little bit of science and we're getting this, more importantly, we're not losing this money from failing this contract once we've accepted it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out here. Um, you know, the accomplishment of those three missions is, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, you know, it's like, I'm pretty sure I can do all three of those. There's a little bit of question of getting that third ship in orbit, but again, we can uh, bring it back and, uh, oh, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the term for, uh, you know, it's like bringing it back from the middle of the flight. But anyway, we can do that and reiterate and add more boosters if we need to, or, uh, more fuel so there's there's options in that so that's you know like I said don't be afraid to fail if the uh, first version of your ship doesn't fly just revert that's the word I was looking for revert the launch or revert the BAB fix it fly it again until it works anyway that's it for episode 3 of how to contract in Kerbal Space Program version 0.24 my name is Jim. I want to thank you for joining me. Have a great day.